dear students today we will discuss about the host pathogen interactions and uh, uh, some of the fungicides and also some of the fungis fungicides uh, related to this plant pathology uh, that is uh, the interaction between host and pathogen interferes with the metabolic process of the host that's why the disease is occurring that is after the infection the um, that pathogen uh, the, that is the um, which is able to uh, produce the disease normally uh, infects the host and the pathogen interferes all the metabolic activities like in case of plants that is photosynthesis and uh, the respiration of the plant and uh, formation of reserve food materials and the spreading of root system all are infected sometimes okay so this results in the formation of uh, some uh, defense chemicals by the host plant so normally this defense uh, chemicals are generally coming under the uh, chemical that is phenolic substances so with the help of these chemicals the host tries tries to kill or repel the pathogen and these chemicals are active against the inducer organism and also against other pathogens that is actually occurring at the time of uh, immune reactions whenever a, a pathogen entered into the host cell that host cell normally uh, tries tries to produce the defense chemical which is called phenolic compounds all these are actually collectively called as host path pathogen interactions okay so all these are um, actually it is somewhat uh, dry part anyway we try to study a little bit in an interesting manner so already i told the host pathogen interaction is defined as how microbes or viruses and bacteria and also sustain themselves within the host organism for a molecular cellular organismal and uh, uh, a population level okay and how this because, because of course these pathogens are very microscopic organisms why they become uh, more dangerous due to the huge number of microbes which are uh, uh, which are infecting or um and that is attacking the host plant host plant of course it is in case of plants they may be most advanced uh, autotrophic organisms normally that is uh, monocots and dicots then also they are getting the disease why because these microorganisms are uh, attacking the host plant in enormous number okay and uh, the uh, this particular term that is uh, the host uh, pathogen interaction is most commonly used to, to refer the disease causing microorganisms uh, although they may not cause illness in all hosts in some occasions these pathogens won't infect any uh, host plant they are simply living inside the host happily without harming the host plant so whenever location comes uh, it will infect other plants okay and uh, because of this the definition has been ex expanded to how non pathogens survive within their host that also the part of this particular topic and how these microorganisms is able to live inside the host without noticing the immune system of the host okay so the defense mechanism in the host plant may be studied broadly under two categories that is resistance against penetrating the host and resistance against invading the host and disease development here in this flow chart we can see this host uh, pathogen interaction that is from the violet circle we can start that is roots of entry because suppose the here the host plant is a dicot plant and it is with, uh, with a well developed uh, anatomical system and it is with a well protective and uh, epidermal cover and also cuticle is there okay and uh, through this uh, very sophisticated 
mechanical protection of this uh, dicot plant, the, whole, the microorganism is able to enter into the uh, dicot plant. How? Sometimes they may um, uh, get inside the plant body through stomata and also some in some occasions through uh, lenticels and through some wounds they can enter. And after that what happens? After that uh, we can see that is uh, for entry into the plant they will uh, utilize different modes of transpiration and the pathogen is entered. Then host susceptibility, Suscep susceptibility is the opposite term for resistance. Suppose due to some uh, deficiency of some uh, trace elements for the growth or, or the deficiency of some defensive uh, chemicals like that of these phenolic compounds already I told or some hormones, the host is now in a susceptible state and as a result the uh, what happens, the pathogen well inhabits inside the host tissue and these are all host coming under the host pathogen interaction. Sometimes the host survives then there is no disease. Sometimes the microorganisms uh, defeats the uh, immune system of the host then disease occurs. So that is generally called as host uh, pathogen interactions. <coughs> That can be studied in under two separate categories that is resistance against penetrating the host okay. and the second category that is resistance against invading the host okay. and what are, what are these two heads we can study. First we will discuss about the resistance against host penetration. That is existing different situations, some of them are wax as cute, already, already now I, I explained that is cuticle, thick uh, and tough cell wall, uh, then uh, this uh, silicified cell wall, sometimes shape and size of the stomata, lendy cells, all are the, all are uh, giving a protective mechanism or histological defense, histological means tissue related defense that is formation of cork layers, development of uh, abscission layer and likewise callus structures. Uh, callus means nothing but if suppose a wound is there, it will form the callus tissue or scar tissue, okay. And uh, all these are giving resistance against uh, host penetration. So in uh, some uh, resistant uh, host plants, Infection stimulates the development of calcium oxalate crystals that is uh, calcium oxalate sometimes calcium carbonate that is histolith and graphites uh, you studied in uh, anatomy of uh, plants which protect them against these disease uh, occurrence okay, or incidence. Then uh, there may be antagonistic uh, effect during host interaction which pectic uh, enzymes are inactivated by toxins. Sometimes opposite reaction may occur that is after the entry of this host sorry entry of the microorganisms it will normally produce some toxins that will inactivate the phenol production. Then sometimes high sugar content in the host tissue often suppresses production of uh, pectic enzymes by pathogens and that also uh, acting like a defensive mechanism. Also high calcium content confers disease resistance possibly due to the enhanced resistance to attack by certain polygalactonases resulting from increased formation of calcium pectate. All these are coming under this resistance against host penetration. Then second one that is resistance against host invasion and uh, this may be designated as post infection biochemical defense mechanism. After the entry of microorganisms, how the plant is able to resist the uh, multiplication or uh, cell division of these microorganisms, okay. And what are the physiological or biochemical defense mechanism? So then uh, pathogen grows rapidly, accumulation of phenolic substances takes place in the host tissue, particularly in case of incompatible host pathogen combinations. That is, what is the meaning of this uh, compatible host pathogen competition? That is, you studied in 
plus two zoology about this immune system and there the um, microorganism uh, any uh, any um, living or non living substances which is which are causing the disease is considered as the antigen remember then uh, antigen um, when the antigen enters into the body of animals normally uh, in some uh, specialized uh, type of proteins will develop and they are called as immunoglobulins or simply we can say as antibody. So, this antibody production and the antigen entry are they are both specific ok. And uh, for, for a particular type of antigen, uh, a particular type of antibody will develop in the body that is host that can be comparable with the host pathogen specificity also ok. Then higher plants contain large number and a variety of aromatic substances uh, which are the precursors of the phenolic substances that will normally produce and these phenolic substances are pre existing in the host plant tissue where synthesis is accelerated by host infection uh, and are called a common phenolics ok. So, like that uh, substances is actually uh, giving protective or defense mechanisms after the entry of the host, after the entry of the microorganisms or the pathogen ok. And uh, um, these are some um, uh, extra knowledge that is according to Muller 1956 defined uh, this uh, phytoalexins ok, this phytoalexins are the and uh, this uh, uh, as a result of this immune reactions in the inside the uh, host tissue uh, there are formed as a result of a host pathogen interaction they are not uh, and as a result it will produce some chemicals and uh, it is called as phytoalexins ok. And these phytoalexins that is according to Muller they are called he uh, named it as antibiotics naturally occurring antibiotics which are produced as a result of interaction of two different metabolic systems that is metabolic system of the host and the metabolic system of the parasite and which inhibit the growth of the microorganisms pathogenic to plants ok. And phyto uh, this uh, alexins are considered as the antibiotics of uh, the antibi antibiotics of this host plants. Ok, these are all extra knowledge you try to uh, read it. Uh, then next uh, portion that is only uh, a small portion is left uh, in, uh, in this uh, portion that is fungicides. What are the fungi? These fungicides can ask for pharmacostins or two marcostins. And uh, first uh, important fungicide uh, which is very common for our uh, fields that is Bordeaux mixture. And uh, what is this Bordeaux mixture? Okay. It is a combination of co copper sulphate, lime and water. Okay. What are they? Copper sulphate, lime and water. It is an effective fungicide and bactericide that are uh, that has been used for decades um, for uh, um, uh, producing a disease like uh, resistance against fungal diseases and bacterial diseases. These are natural minerals when mixed in correct order provide long lasting protection to the plants against diseases. The ability of Bodo's mixture to adhere to plants in rainy weather uh, makes uh, it is an excellent choice for winter fungicide. See here we can see this after the uh, mixing up of these chemicals one by one that is um, uh, this um, uh, uh, copper sulphate, lime and water. It will like uh, this the slight blue color because this is the lime and this is the copper sulphate. And it, forms light blue color 
and actually it uh, adheres with the plant uh, um, during rainy season also. So, we can use it at any time because Wardow's mixture can leave a blue green uh, discoloration on plants or painted surfaces use it in dormant deciduous plants that are away from buildings and fences. <clears throat> and so it is very well used for these all types of plants. Then how the that is the two mark question what is the competition or how Wardow's mixture is prepared. That is materials required is copper sulphate powder 1 kg, lime 1 kg, water 100 liters. 1 kilogram of copper sulphate powder is dissolved in 50 liters of water. Similarly, 1 kg of lime is powdered and dissolved in another 50 liters of water. Then the copper sulphate solution is slowly added to the lime solution with a constant stirring or alternatively both the solutions may be poured simultaneously to a third container and mixed well. There is two methods. Okay. Then uh, preparation of 0.5 percentage of water of mixture is same as above but reducing the copper sulphate and lime half of the amount but keeping water same as 1 percent mixture preparation. In general, 1 percent Bordeaux mixture is applied to hardy uh, plant parts such as root, stem and 0.5 percent of mixture is applied to leaf and foliage. Okay. That is the preparation of Bordeaux mixture. Then second fungicide is lime sulphur. Okay. Lime sulphur is a fungicide composed of inorganic sulphur and lime and is commonly used, used today to control a variety of agricultural fungal diseases and it can be used in colder climatic conditions. Then the lime sulphur is believed to be the first produced synthetic chemical used as a pesticide. Okay. Then uh, antifungal preparations are common uh, are uh, um, uh, normally used in food production in the conventional method by using conventional methods. To avoid putting poisons on our food organic solutions are however significantly limited. So this is lime sulphur. Okay. Then these are some uh, extra notes you try to study. Uh, then this is tobacco decoc decoction that is the third one it is a frequently asked question how the tobacco decoction that is Pugela Kashayam is uh, prepared. This is very effective for controlling aphids munya in Malayalam it is munya and other soft bodied insects infesting vegetable crops. Tobacco decoction can be prepared by boiling 500 gram of tobacco waste or tobacco leaves in 5 liters of water and kept it for 24 hours undisturbed. So here this is the tobacco um, dried leaves or sometimes we can use this uh, tobacco uh, petiol, dried petiol, that is the um, this tobacco waste and it is uh, boiled. Um, um, in 5 liters water, five liters of water, then after boiling for some time, we can keep it aside for 24 hours. Then dissolve 120 gram of ordinary bar soap or in that place we can use liquid soap also separately in, a con in, a, in another vessel. The soap solution is added to the tobacco decoction under violent agitation. That is before that, after keeping uh, this boiled uh, water with the uh, tobacco, uh, and uh, next day after 24 hours we can filter this uh, tobacco decoction separately that is this color that is coffee, coffee brown color and add with uh, desired amount of soap solution and the, then uh, uh, mix both the solution with a vigorous agitation and dilute this stock solution for 6 to 7 times before spray ok. So, that is a very good uh, this uh, organic uh, pesticide okay that is it can very well used against aphids and uh, other insects okay then neem cake and neem oil here we can see this neem cake okay 
and the assert the botanical name for uh, neem is uh, that uh, uh, that is assert directa indica because the the um, the, that uh, chemical compound present in the uh, this neem tree is assert directa is a compound found in the neem will serve as a strong biopesticide and uh, will inhibit the growth of growth more than 200 varieties of pests and insects. So, it is very good application. It is also acts as a natural fertilizer because the neem cake is with an NPK. Okay. So, neem seed cake also reduce alkalinity in the soil and this is a neem cake that is it is nothing but this uh, compressed dried uh, uh, seeds, seed kernel and also seed on fruit and it is this neem cake. So, being totally natural it is compatible with the soil microbes and uh, rhizosphere microflora that is the isosphere means that is the uh, in uh, um, uh, that soil outer area of the roots that is called a rhizosphere ok. And uh, what are the bacterium virus which are growing in this rhizosphere can can be killed by using this neem cake. Then neem cake improves the organic matter content of the soil ok and also it increases the increase the fertility of the soil. Then last one that is uh, the neem oil that is formulation made of neem oil also find a wide usage as a biopesticide for organic farming. We can add this uh, neem oil along with the tobacco decoction. Then neem oil is not known to be harmful to mammals, birds, earthworms or some beneficial insects like a butterflies, honeybees and the ladybugs. Okay. Mm, and it can be used as a household pesticide for ant, bed bug, cockroaches, house fly, sand flies, nail, termite and mosquitoes and this is the neem oil. So, these are the um, last portions of our topic. If any portion you are not able, you want to repeat me, then please inform us. So, this first photograph here we can see this host uh, pathogen interaction, it is an electron microscopic figure. Uh, this is the um, surface of the epidermis that is that uh, road shaped bacteria is entering and slowly uh, by using this uh, flagellum, it is able to capture over the tissue of path, uh, tissue of uh, host and slowly it is entering into hmm? and after that inside uh, if suppose the host immune system is well and good normally it, it kills the bacterium otherwise the host will get disease ok thank you